Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lena, I'm a first year medical student in the United States. In this video, I'll be talking about what I wish I knew as a pre-med during the time before I entered medical school. These are some of the things I wish someone had told me earlier, so I really hope you find them helpful. And if you do, please click that like button down below. Much appreciated. Without further ado, let's begin. There are honestly a lot of paths to medical school. As a pre-med, you probably heard of so many different kinds of stories about someone getting into medical school and what they have done. And there is just simply no one pathway to getting into medical school. You can go into medical school right after college if you are in the United States or in Canada. You could also choose to take a few years of gap year or explore a completely different career before entering medical school. And this is in fact what the majority of students do nowadays. There is no age limit to become a student in a medical school and certainly no age limit to becoming a physician at all. In fact, the entering class for my year of medical school, our median age was 26 and age range from 22 all the way to 55 for our one class, which consists of 130 people. People worked as nurses before, occupational therapists, and some worked in fields completely unrelated to healthcare or medicine such as engineering and for me personally I worked as a teacher prior to entering medical school. The key here is to really not let the pre-med checklist, the things you need to accomplish to be a pre-med, limit yourself. Instead define your own pathways and define your own reason to go into a medical career. Nevertheless there are still a few things that you need to fulfill like the basic requirements in order to get into medical school and these include some of the courses, volunteering experiences, clinical experiences, and research. So here are some honest and practical advice for you. I wish I knew sooner to help me better prepare for medical school. So first one, as a pre-med, you probably already know that you need a series of courses you need to take during your undergraduate career or after college through a post back program or community college program. These include the courses like biology, chemistry, organic chemistry, and you could find all of these courses that you you need to take from your school's pre-health mentoring office or from the admissions website of that medical school that you want to go to so I won't go into too much detail about that. Something I wish I knew was that there were a few courses I wish I took. Now that I have experienced one whole semester in medical school, I felt like if I have taken these courses, it would have better prepared me for the courses that are coming up in medical school. Um, the first one includes biochemistry. During our first year of medical school, we went through a lot of biochemistry in a very fast paced manner. So I feel like it would have helped significantly if I taken biochemistry course. The same applies to physiology. Yeah, my microbiology. So if you are still a pre-med and you are wondering what kind of courses might be helpful for medical school, I would highly recommend biochemistry, physiology, and microbiology. Don't worry if you don't have that time in your schedule to do so. Most of these are not required for medical schools. It's just helpful if you have taken it earlier. It'll give you a relatively easier time when you're in medical school. And for clinical hours and shadowing, a lot of the medical schools will look at your application like want to see some shadowing experiences meaning you going to shadow a doctor and see what their work life is like before you commit yourself to a career in medicine. I've shadowed different physicians before medical school. One thing I wish I've done is that I wish I kept a journal or like a log of all of these physicians that I shadowed and after day of shadowing I could just like write down certain reflections about the field, about the interactions with the patients and the physician um, or the department itself. So that way when I am writing my application to medical schools, I have something to look back onto because some of the shadowing experiences happened during my first and second year of college. And when I'm writing my application two years after I graduated college, it's been four to five years since that shadowing experience. And I still have to write about it in my application. So I really wished that I have like kept a journal or kept a log about that 
experience. Maybe just a few sentences would certainly help a lot when I was writing my application to medical school and certainly will help a lot when I'm interviewing for medical school. And then for research, research is not required for you to go and get into a medical school program. It really depends on the school that you want to apply to. I've gotten a few questions about how to reach out to research mentors or how to find a research project that you're interested in. So I think the first suggestion would be to look at the programs that your school offers, like the different summer research programs or longitudinal research experiences if your school has it. Um, that would be my first thing to look at. Second thing would be to just cold email professors. If you find a professor research really interesting that they probably mentioned briefly in class, just cold email them. Reach out to them and ask if you can participate as a volunteer for their research. And the worst situation would be that they say no or they don't reply to your email and that's totally fine. You really have nothing to lose here but if you do not reach out you lose an opportunity to potentially participate in the research program. So something I wish I knew in college is be more thick-faced. It's okay to cold email people. You really have nothing to lose here. It's usually the one who has courage that gets the opportunity. And last but not the least for the practical advice, letters are a recommendation are so crucial. I remember when I was interviewing at one of the medical schools, they literally said all of you are here at this interview because you have awesome letters of recommendation. Letters of recommendation are really that one component that medical schools get to see about you as a person, your characteristics, traits other than your grades that is evaluated from a person that is not yourself. And we often overlook how important letters of recommendations are in this whole application process. So what I wish I knew as a pre-med is that even if you're only a first year or second year, you could start thinking about, oh, who will be that professor that writes my letter? As you're taking the class, depending on how you do or how interested you are or your relationship with that professor, think about if this person could write that letter of recommendation for me. The same applies to your mentor for research, your advisor for a club that you volunteer with or hold a leadership position at. In general, you'll probably need three to five letters of recommendation for medical school so it's always good to keep in mind ask yourself if this person could be a potential letter writer or not thank you so much for watching this video hope you really enjoy the content please hit the like button if you have enjoyed this video please check out my other videos about medical school about being pre-med applying to medical school all on my channel and subscribe to my channel for more content as such thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time